How's it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So let's say you forgot your iPhone lock screen passcode. So maybe your iPhone is fully functional like mine is, but you forgot the lock screen passcode. So you can't get in, you forgot this code, so you literally can't use your iPhone. Or maybe even worse, you have tried it so many times that your iPhone is like this iPhone unavailable, try again in one minute, five minutes, or maybe hours, and again, you're locked out. You can't use your iPhone because you can't remember the passcode. So, no matter in what state your iPhone currently is, I'm gonna help you out, because in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily reset your iPhone lock screen passcode, so how you can literally remove the forgotten passcode and create a new one. And the coolest thing about this process is that it's updated to 2023 and of course to iOS 16. And to make things even better, you don't even need a computer for this. So I'm going to show you how you can reset your lock screen passcode with just your iPhone. You don't need a computer, you don't need anything else. Now, before we begin, a quick disclaimer. This method that I'm bringing in this video comes straight from Apple. It comes straight from Apple support website, all of the steps, absolutely just like Apple recommends us to deal with this situation. So I'm gonna have in the description the Apple support webpage on how you can see this exact method step by step. So again, everything in this video comes straight from Apple, it's Apple's recommendation. And secondly, and maybe most importantly, this method will only work if the iPhone is yours. If you own the iPhone and you have forgotten your own lock screen passcode. If you're trying to do this on anybody else's phone, trust me, this will not work. So again, this is only valid, this tutorial is only for people who have forgotten their own iPhone lock screen passcode. I can't stress this enough. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. So as I said, the process is extremely easy and all you need is your iPhone itself. But there is a very important thing. Your iPhone needs to be running at least iOS 15.2 or newer in order for you to use this process, which is iPhone only without a computer. Okay, so you need to be running iOS 15.2 or 0.3 or of course iOS 16, which is my case right here. If your iPhone is not running iOS 15, it's on an older version like 15.1 or iOS 14, for example, I do recommend that you take a look at this video right here. I'm gonna put a card right here and I'm gonna also put a link in the description so you can take a look at my old method so you can do the exact same thing remove your forgotten lock screen passcode but with the older method it's a video from this channel from Danable Tech don't worry but as I said if you are on an older version you need to use that older method if you are on iOS 15.2 or newer including iOS 16 you can continue with this video and we're gonna do it all just with the iPhone okay now Let's continue, and of course, it's super important that you also have a connection, an internet connection. It can either be Wi-Fi or 4G or 5G. So, the process itself is super, super easy, and all you have to do is actually type in a wrong passcode, okay, a wrong passcode, because we don't know the actual passcode, right? So, we're going to type in, on purpose, a wrong passcode until we see iPhone unavailable try again in one minute. If you are already at this state, don't worry because we're gonna need to do this a few times until we see iPhone unavailable try again in one hour. So we're gonna need to do this a few times until we see try again in one hour. It'll require actually four attempts. I know it's kind of a bummer, but that's the way to do it. We need to do it like that. So let's be patient. Let's wait for this first minute and then I'll be back. Okay, so the one minute has passed and all we have to do is once again put in the wrong passcode, any passcode for that matter, and then we're gonna see iPhone unavailable try again in five minutes, as I said. So, we're gonna need to wait those five minutes, we're almost there, so let's wait, and I'll be back. I'm gonna do this step by step with you. Okay, so five minutes have passed, and we're gonna do it once again. We're gonna go ahead and type in a random wrong passcode until we see iPhone unavailable try again in 15 minutes, and finally, this is the last step, so let's wait 15 minutes and I'll be back. And so after the 15 minutes, make sure you're connected to the internet, swipe up, and then for the final time, 
type in a wrong passcode and as you can see iPhone unavailable try again in one hour and this is what's called security lockout and as you can see we have this new button erase iPhone and that's exactly what we need now all you have to do is tap on erase iPhone and as you can see right here erase all content and settings and this is a very important part of the process the only way to actually reset your forgotten lock screen passcode to remove it and create a new one is by actually erasing your iPhone as a whole. So yes, we're gonna erase the iPhone, we're gonna erase everything, and of course, the passcode as well. And then we're gonna be able to create a new one. So then you have full access of your iPhone once again. And I know it's kind of a bummer that we have to actually erase everything, but that's the way Apple designed it. It's a security feature and there is nothing we can do about it. Even if you want to follow my old process that uses a computer, you'll have to erase the iPhone as well. That's the only way you'll need to erase it, trust me. But the good news is, of course, afterwards, you can easily recover all your information back from your backup, either an iCloud backup or a computer backup. So no worries, after we erase, I'm gonna show you how you can recover everything from a backup so you'll not lose anything, okay? Now, let's continue, let's go ahead and tap here on Erase iPhone, and of course, you're gonna need to type in your Apple ID. This is a security feature as well, and that's why in the beginning of the video, I said that the only way that this works is if the iPhone is yours, because you need to type in your Apple ID password and only you have it. So, in order for this to work, the iPhone has to be yours, as I mentioned, okay? So, type in your Apple ID password, then tap on Go, and now just wait, wait a few seconds, and that's why you actually need to be connected to the internet, right? Because Apple actually has to check your Apple ID information, and as you guys can see right here, we're seeing a black screen, and all you have to do is wait. As you can see here, Apple logo with the progress bar, as I mentioned, just wait a few more seconds. And so, as you can see, we have the hello screen, meaning that the process has finished successfully, and now we're seeing here the hello screen, the first setup screen on your iPhone, as if you just bought the iPhone and you're opening it up from the box for the first time. And now, as you can imagine, all you need to do is set up as you would. So set it up as if this is a brand new iPhone. So type, so you can choose here the language, the region, and you can go ahead and set it up normally as you would. And as you can imagine, your old forgotten passcode is gone. It's not here anymore. We have successfully removed it. And now all you have to do is keep setting it up, go through the steps normally as you have done it many, many times on a new iPhone. This is the exact same process. So then you're gonna put your Apple ID. Uh, if you have a backup, as I mentioned, you can recover from an iCloud backup so you can get all your information back either from iCloud or from a computer backup. And of course, as you move on, you're gonna create your new lock screen passcode from this first setup process. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next video of Danabal Tech. See you later guys.